Alright guys, this is video number 9 and um, as you can see I've got the um, tanks all lit up got my old Chinese fixtures here that I replaced um, <clears throat> basically um, everything looks real good you can see the shimmer got like a, a really good shimmer going on my core line all died off by the way just from the move we just got a new house so I had to move this whole thing so my core line algae died if in case you're wondering but um, everything looks real good so far uh, got some corals up there <clears throat> frags are doing good and everything all the corals seem to love it the fish seem to love it in there with the new light um, no aggression a lot of shimmer in there but um, anyways I had to modify my canopy to make it fit I remember in my other videos I had these cross beams for support but I didn't need them anymore because the bow is already taut it's not trying to spring back anymore so I was able to remove them um, there's the fixture so I was able to hang that higher up because the uh, supports are removed now you can hang it higher I don't have any cooling fans on here um, it doesn't get very hot it's warm but it isn't hot you know I can touch it no problem I feel all over the place on it and it's not hot at all I mean it's warm but it's not hot nope. um, without fans and I've got it turned up pretty high right now but um, I just got it. Uh, you can see the um, they're all on lit, and um, got it hanging pretty high above the tank. I had it pretty close, and I absolutely had to get it off the tank uh, just because it was it was really really. The shimmer was intense, man. I had like a rainbow glowing around my tank and shit. It was nuts. I still have a little bit left on the carpet right there. You can see a little of it. But man, was that intense. <clears throat> so I had to get it off the water a little bit. But anyway, I've got the um, control box back behind the tank here. You can see it back there it's just sitting there and um, hooked up on timers right now and then the bus wire that comes out goes under and then there's the uh, dimmer module right there and my bus wire goes over to the control box um, it turned out real good um, I'm probably going to be adding a, sh a few different colors in the future here. I just wanted to get up and running. This is the most basic setup right here, um, right now. And, um, one thing I wanted to say about this is, guys out there thinking about doing this, this is not for everybody. Um, it's definitely not easy it's really easy to screw up um, and not do a good job and you guys out there try and get your materials as assembled as possible don't do it the way I did where you have to build everything from scratch from the heat sinks to the cords and everything I had to fabricate from scratch even the box that houses all the control units are all made uh, 
from scratch basically it's really time consuming and it's really easy to screw up and not do a good job I would recommend doing the um, <clears throat> the dual system where you have the control box <clears throat> and then the actual light um, I'm going to be adding some more. I have room for three more drivers in here, at least. So, probably be adding a few more strings. Um, it's probably some violets and some regular cool blues. Maybe, if possible, cyan and turquoise, or uh, cyan and um, deep red combo, just to play around and see. But I really do like the color. It looks really good. The natural white um, royal blue was inspired by Blaster Man once again. And uh, <clears throat> read on all the forms and he convinced me to start here. And um, I'm really glad I did because he got a really nice look on stuff here. Um... Yeah, things look really good. Got some candy apple reds and some Rastas and Sunny D's and all that good stuff in there. And utter Chaos and Darth Maul, Fruit Loop. Now I look real good. Some Tubbs Blues, Jokers. Um... <clears throat> Yeah, but like I said, it's definitely not for everybody. You guys think you, you know, if you don't know anything about electronics or, you know, physics or anything like that, I wouldn't bother trying to do this, not trying to discourage anybody, but I'm trying to look out for people out there that think they're going to be able to do this. Um... <clears throat> not for everyone it's a lot to consider um, there's one last shot I had to cut this thing these boards that went down and supported this wall I had to cut it with a jigsaw while the tank was well it was on the tank last night um, so I actually did all this shit real quick because I had a lot of free time. But haven't had a need to add fans yet. Like I said, it's just warm, not hot. I'm going to definitely be adding a fan if I add more light. But I figure this is enough light right here. I'm either going to be dimming and wrapping up other lights or, you know, keeping it this way. Um, so I won't need any more light than this. No matter how many LEDs I'm going to need, I'm going to be dimming some down or whatever, vice versa. Um, I'll give you a quick shot of just the blue. Not that it's going to do any good on this camera. Got some little blueberry sea fan right there. It's been doing pretty good. Had it about six months. Now I'm going to dim down my whites right here all the way down you can see them fading out now they're off so now I got like an insane freaking blue royal blue look and then these are really um, I'm running out of time but you can really get a wide variety of blues to purples and and whites with just the one two colors um, it looks really good though I'll probably get another video after I do um, my upgrades uh, but this right now is going to conclude the light and the DIY process of how I did it so keep an eye out for video number 10 if, for the upgrades in the future if I do them Alright, thanks guys. Bye.